today for this like chilled out Sunday video. I thought I would just sit down, do my makeup, chat. I feel like there's so much on my mind at the moment and I think especially I especially wanted to chat about how I've been feeling since turning 30 because I've been feeling like so kind of all over the place about it and um, at the same time I've had like I've got a few things new into my collection that I've been really wanting to try out so I thought why not like have a little play with makeup and um yeah chat do my makeup <laughs> wow just have a bit of a heart to heart and yeah just chill. How are you guys doing? It feels like ages since I've had kind of like a back and forth chatty video or like, you know, more of a Q and A sort of video where I feel like I'm kind of chatting to you. But yeah, I hope everyone's really well. I hope you've had an amazing summer. I'm gonna apply my foundation. Um, I just literally yesterday got these in. They're from Charlotte Tilbury. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Stays all day and night. And it's supposed to be, it's supposed to help your skin as well. So it's like skincare in a foundation as well. Oh, I don't know if that will work. It might be a little bit light, but apparently... Oh no, it does work. Oh, I like it, okay. So this is supposed to be like a skin, you know, like a skin finish. So not, it's not dewy, it's not matte. It's just supposed to look like nice and natural. And that's what I want, because at the moment, you guys know I love my glow. I love like glowy foundation, tinted moisturizers and stuff, but I don't know, because I've been wearing the same thing for months now. I just feel like I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. And obviously, I mean, on me anyway, I feel like my, my makeup just doesn't last as long when I've got, even though I love the glowy base, but my makeup just doesn't last as long, so it's really frustrating. Mm, it's really easy to like blend in. Been really liking this brush recently to do my foundation. It's just the um, it's the Bare Minerals, what is it? Smoothing face brush. Let me know if you've turned thirty as well recently. How are you feeling about it? Because I don't even know where to start. <laughs> yeah, I really like that so far. I'm gonna let that kind of like settle into the skin because apparently it takes like kind of like 10 minutes to properly settle in and kind of adjust your skin. Okay, turning 30, I kind of like don't know how to feel about it. So before I turned 30, obviously like the whole year of being 29, I obviously was so aware that it was like the last year of my 20s and kind of like, you know, to kind of make them, okay, so I say like make the most of it. Obviously our age and like time and everything is like a construct, you know, that's what I believe anyway. Obviously the whole thing's made up and like, it, you know, especially in the way that, oh, you have to hit certain goalposts by certain ages and things like that. I kind of just don't buy into it that much. And also like I come from a family of people who everyone just makes the most out of life. No one like suddenly gets boring because they're a certain age. And you know, like the older people in my family still love like dancing and having a good time and stuff. So I feel like, because I've kind of grown up with that, I've never seen certain ages as like, I don't know, something to be scared of or like, I don't know, being worried about changing or anything. So, yeah, so when I, like, while I was 29, I kind of, like, knew I had the big 30 coming up. And, but I tried not to think about it that much. And it's so weird, like, literally even, like, right up to my birthday. And then as soon as it's been, like, my birth birthday and since, there's a little bit in me that's a bit, like, sad about it and is a bit, like, sad that I'm not in my 20s anymore. It feels like that's your time to have fun and like make mistakes and like travel and you know whatever but you know that's what everyone says. And I almost feel like a little bit of a pressure that like now is not my time to like make you know like do I want have freedom and <laughs> the bit that I have. <laughs> Obviously I've got a child so it's like a bit less freedom anyway but yeah I, I feel like a little bit more pressure to kind of start reeling it in more and like, on one hand it's exciting because I want to like become more of myself, like know who I am more, like come into my own. Now that I'm like 30, 30 to 40, oh. <laughs> the other half is like, no, like, I still want to have fun. I still want freedom, you know, and oh, it's hard. Um, so yeah, let me know 
how you felt when if you've turned 30 as well and like if you had the same sort of like it's good in one way and like not good in another way and like I've never felt this way about any other age I never got upset to turn like 20 out of my teens or anything so yeah so I've gone back to this recently it's the Fenty matchstick in truffle um, because I just got a bit bored of doing of contouring with powder and I just feel like sometimes this looks a bit more realistic um, and it's like much easier to blend I'm a little bit like lower energy today I don't know why I haven't really um, had coffee today that much and I don't know recently when I have it in the afternoon it literally makes me feel like I'm going mad you know, I just like, I change and I get really, obviously it's because it brings on anxiety, but I just get really like, like on edge and it almost makes me feel a bit angry and I don't know, anyway, so I don't really like having it that late in the day. So yeah, I'm like 30. Also being 30 just feels, it feels like it's really old to be on YouTube, do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I started when I was like 19. So I'm like, wow. <laughs> but that's the thing, like everyone's growing up on YouTube, you know? Like it's, it's natural, it's gonna happen. And it also makes me feel, because I felt like this anyway, but it more so makes me feel like really kind of honing in what I want my content to be on YouTube. I mean, this is an ongoing thing. I've like mentioned this before, but yeah, I want it to like work for you guys, my content, and also obviously work for me and like mature with me. Um, and I don't want to make any content that's like dumbing shit down for anyone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like there's obviously a lot of that on YouTube, like dumbing down. So that's why I love talking about like different topics and like real life topics and stuff. Cause it's, we all go through this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna try a new product. <laughs> I'm a bit scared, I, I'm so picky with my brow products, but I was sent over a few uh, eye products from Hourglass, and this is the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Mm -hmm. It's not so funny though, like, <laughs> just turned 30, but the other week, there was, um, someone came to the door to, I think it was something to do with like windows or something, I don't know. Um, and he was like, oh hi, is your mum and dad at home? And I was like, I was like, no, and I was gonna explain that, no, like I don't live with my mum and dad. Not, it's fine if you do, it's just I haven't lived with my mum or dad for like years. <laughs> and also for him, them to just assume. I probably didn't have makeup on, like looked quite young. Um, and then as soon as I was like, no, he was like, oh God, should have known and just like ran off. <laughs> I was like, oh great. Glossier Boy Brow kind of adds a bit more color, but I might've gone for the lighter color in this, but it's nice, it, it kind of, oh, hello. It, it's a bit more natural. I feel like it doesn't have a lot of hold. And then I've also got the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I'm really excited for this. I love a tiny brow pen. Oh, I like it. It's very, like precise and the shade is really nice as well so yeah i'm really sad that leo season is over <laughs> i feel like i didn't like live it out as much like a but i do love a virgo my mum's a virgo i'm gonna put a bit of eyeshadow on i'm gonna use i'm so excited about this this is from the new collection with uh zoe kravitz for ysl and so this is the eyeshadow palette. I was so excited to receive this collection because I'm such a fangirl of her. <laughs> it's like actually embarrassing. I'm gonna use this one, just this lighter brown. So I've just had some new lashes done as well. So I feel like obviously at the beginning, like they're so full. So it's kind of hard to wear any eye makeup because they obviously look really dark. I kind of always prefer eye, eyelash extensions like a week to two weeks, like a week and a half after they've been applied. That's like the sweet spot. Oh, I love that colour. That's such a nice, like neutral colour for my skin tone. <laughs> I don't want to be like for my skin tone, but I'm like, what do you say these days? Like darker skin tone, mixed skin tone? Like, <laughs> can't say anything these days. Do you know what I mean? 
because it's so pretty I'm gonna take this there's this shimmery shade uh, so I'm just gonna add that in oh my god that picture of Gigi Hadid that she posted oh so amazing I'd love to try and recreate that makeup I just feel like my uh, lashes are a bit too long for it at the moment because her lashes are quite natural in that photo I'm just gonna add a little bit a really small flick kind of just on the end gonna add a light liner in my waterline oh wow I just ruined it the milk flex concealer I actually feel like with this foundation I kind of don't need tons of concealer so that's nice because with all the tinted moisturizers I've been like plastering myself with the concealer I'd love to start kind of a bit of a discussion in the comments like so if you've turned 30 and you like tell me what the good things about it are <laughs> please what have you really enjoyed about going into your 30s like already actually do you know what I've been feeling like life is as good as I'm gonna make it um I feel like for most of my life I've kind of let life happen to me I'm like that person who's like everything happens for a reason like but what how I've been feeling a lot recently is like to a certain extent I feel like it's a bit of um a balance like everything's mapped out how it's meant to go in a way um but also I feel like a lot of it is down to our choices and our actions our reactions to things so um yeah recently I've kind of been like things that you've been really like pining over like pining about in your 20s or like been really upset over for ages just actually put the work in to like have that happen or to be that person um I don't know I think I just expected it to happen and with a lot of things they won't just happen so yeah having just turned 30 I don't know I feel like it's kind of given me a little kick up the bum to like make my life how I want it to be I'm just gonna add a bit of hula bronzer in caramel oh wow <laughs> I wasn't looking at a mirror also what should be nice is I'm gonna take um like my first solo trip in September um I've never done that before so I think that would be nice just add in a bit of a is it beauty gasm no glow gasm from Charlotte Tilbury I'm just gonna blend it out a bit with the foundation brush because I don't know I feel like there's a lot going on on the cheeks and I'm just gonna use one of the hourglass highlighters I know this isn't anything different. I just like sitting and chilling and like, you know, playing with makeup. It's not always gonna be something different. But I do wanna do something different soon. I think I will. Um, like, you know, play with colors a bit more and stuff. I just um, like kind of blotted my lips down with the found just with the foundation brush. And I'm just gonna add in a bit of definition with Max, uh, what is this, Boldly Bare. And then I'm gonna use the new Charlotte Tilbury Gloss. I've never used it before, it's called Refresh Rose. Some of you might have seen on my Insta stories as well. Um, I'm recently, I'm really interested in CBD, CBD. I have a, and I've never like had my own proper like oil or vape or anything, but I'm really wanting to try it out. Very late to the game, I know. But yeah, let me know if you've got any recommendations for good quality CBD. Oh, it's a heart shape. That's so cute. Can you see it? That's so cute. Oh, it's minty. She's using the hourglass powder. Also today, if you're watching this on the day I've uploaded on Sunday, um, I'm posting a new styling video on my IGTV. So I thank you guys as well so much for your comments on my last, on my autumn winter trends video. I don't think I saw anyone who'd rather, <laughs> rather my styling videos be on IGTV, but, so I'm not gonna switch them over or anything. I'll definitely keep uploading on here on my channel. Um, but I think sometimes some videos are quite like quick and easy and nice to do on Instagram. So anyway, I'm posting one today. I hope you guys like it. Let, please go over and let me know what you thought. And um, yeah, let me know what you 
think of like mini styling videos being over there and then I can kind of put more time and effort obviously into the ones on my channel and you know these ones can be a bit chattier and a bit more complex um so yeah it'd be nice to have both um so I'm done um I hope you guys liked this chatty video and next time there'll be coffee sorry there's no coffee in this one <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just really nice to chat and kind of, it's like a little bit of a life update as well because like turning 30 is a big one. It just feels weird. I guess I'll get used to it over time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see from me. I think I might do a QA and a soon because I feel like I haven't like had a back and forth for a little while. Um, and I've, I'll definitely be doing more vlogging on this channel as well because I really enjoy doing it more now. We're going to go with a mix of vlog, like day in the life or so like week weekly vlogs on here, this channel, and then styling videos and then some get ready with me's and some girl talks. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of going with. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've all had a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.